Last week, I showed you this video. That was a non Adventist singer who was invited together with her team to sing praise songs at SDA camp meeting. And at the end of one of her song ministrations, she spoke gibberish. And you heard the drums, you heard the noise, you heard everything that went on there which I think was not associated with the SDA church, with how we worship. Now, I'm going to show you another video, but that one happened last year at one of our camp meetings. Many of them happened last year and this year too is happening. These things are not associated with the Seventh-day Adventist Church worship. But why are we doing it? So friends, the question is, where are our singers? Where are our own SDA singers? Why are our leaders not inviting them to sing? SDA Christian songs at our camp meetings. And another question is, 
how much are we paying the non-Adventist singers if we constantly invite other singers to sing praise songs at our camp meetings? Are we not killing our own music? Are we not killing our own Adventist musicians? Today, I have decided to speak for our own Adventist singers because some are struggling. Friends, some are struggling. All because we do not want to promote them. Now, there is an issue I'm going to speak about right now. And, you know, the woman I showed you earlier has been invited again. Has been invited again to another camp meeting. So, I'm going to put this flyer on your screen for you to see. The flyer reads... Northeastern Conference of Seventh Day Adventist. And you see Pastor Bird right there. You see Pastor Charles Tapp. And the same singer who was speaking gibberish tongues at the previous camp meeting is also right there. She has been invited again. Let's look at the flyer again. You notice that her photo is bigger than all the photos you find on the flyer. Are we not promoting non-Adventist singer? Where are our own singers? Why don't we have any SDA singer on the flyer? When I speak about issues like this, I get some Adventists who comment down there, who send me emails and others telling me that I'm attacking the church. I am not, but I'm speaking the truth. Many SDA singers are struggling out there, but we get the money and we invite non-Adventist singers and we pay them. We should promote our own Adventist musicians. That is my concern. Friends, I want to end my case here. If you are an SDA singer, share this video with all your family members, with your friends, with your church, so that the leaders, some of the leaders, can get to see this video and make some changes because Sometimes it's, it's, it's sad and it's painful. I have heard the stories of some SDA singers, how they are struggling. Instead of calling them to minister to us at our camp meetings, we go for other singers. Let us promote our own. Let us promote our own musicians. I rest my case, friends. Oh, I feel the presence of God. I feel God's presence. Great God. We extol you. I'm sorry I didn't mean to come out here like a mad woman. <laughs>